हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टॉपिक ट्वेल्व वेन यू लुक एट द सिलेबस द टॉपिक ट्वेल्व से पैकेज ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट सेरल्स सेरल्स पल्सेस while seeds fibers sugar and commercial and commercial and fodder crops so this is what topic 12 says so it is very lengthy as we will take all the major crops so what we will do we will divide it in some parts suppose 12a today we'll discuss about cereals in 12b pulses in 12c pulses in 12c wild seeds 12d fibers commercial crops like this we will divide our and i think in four to five parts we will complete it so today we are going to discuss topic 12a that is package of practices of cereals so what this package of practice is so package of practice is that how we are growing the crop what climate it needs what fertilizer doses we need to apply what type of soil it's need what is what are its types of varieties what will what the yield it will give so everything from planting to nursery to yield is uh, is under package of practice so we will discuss some major crops involving and their package of practice so as we are discussing about cereals first of all the most important cereal that is rice so this is package of practice of rice so as you know india is the largest producer of rice is one of the largest producers of rice and it is exported exported around 10 million tons of rice in a it again in recent times every year it exports around i am not the exact this is not the exact figure you can see the exact figure in reports in google but i am taking it to give you a overview that we export around 10 million tons of rice every year west bengal west bengal is 50% cultivated area west bengal's 50% cultivated area is under rice production now moving on these are the some common facts of rice that is paddy west bengal 50% cultivated area of west bengal is under rice now moving on climatic conditions of rice what what climate it needs rice requires a temperate climate temperate climate the suit the rice the most it's requires average rainfall of around 120 to 140 cm the best temperature to grow rice 
is 21 to 37 degree Celsius. Best soil to grow rice is sandy loam. So this is the climate in which you can grow the rice properly. Now moving on to sowing season. So we should know that rice grows in all the three seasons. Kharif, Ravi and summer seasons. In Kharif seasons, the sowing time is around June. In Ravi season it is October to November. In summer season it is March. In different areas, of, as we know, in our belts, uh, sorry, in northern belts, the belts of Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal, this is mainly a Kharif crop. But when you go to southern states like Kerala, Tamil Nadu, it is both Kharif and Ravi crop. They grow crop in both the seasons and also in summer season in some states. So, as per uh, the climate conditions, as per the uh, variations in the localities, it can grow in all the three seasons. Some, some varieties of rice, some popular varieties, IR64, Naveen, Sasyasri, this is stem borer tolerant, stem borer tolerant, you have got Bikas, saline tolerant, in you we use these varieties in southern eastern near coastal regions where there are some silent conditions we have got many varieties we have got sahabhagi sahabhagi is drought tolerant so there are many varieties if you will start collecting varieties of rice and discussing it, it will take a huge time. So I am discussing some important varieties. If you want to add more, you can add it as per you. So these are the some common varieties of rice. Now moving to land preparation. How land is prepared for rice or paddy? We plow for three to four weeks earlier to sowing. That is three to four weeks before sowing. And the land should be submerged. In two to five centimeter <coughs> standing water. As we how this is how we get this through puddling and after puddling we transplant the nursery raised uh, rice nursery raised paddy into this two to five centimeter standing water and this is what how we prepare land for rice now moving on seed rate So broadcasting that is here we don't transplant this and where we just directly plant the seed into the field. It takes around 100 kg of 100 kg per hectare seed. And if you're using a hybrid variety, Through transplantation, it will require just 15 to 20 kg per hectare. We can see the difference. Why people choose transplantation? Low seed, low seed rate as compared to broadcasting. The chances, the germination percentage is here because we are transplanting, but here it is very low. Most of the seeds are not been, uh, not grow. They are taken up by several uh, birds, pests. Sometimes they do not got enough conditions. That's why we choose transplanting. 
and if I, if you are if you are transplanting a normal variety it will take around 40 kg per hectare and if we are doing through drilling right? so we are putting the soil through drill uh, see, we are, see not happy seed they are using happy seed to 4 to 5 centimeter depth it will take around 60 kg so these are the seed rates in major varieties major techniques hope you all understand it now moving on to seed treatment how do we treat the seeds seed treatment with fungicides with fungicides such as carbon tegim carbon tegim dithen at the rate of 2.5 gram per kg or you can use card tap why we use fungicides to prevent the seeds from the attack of fungi we can also use biocontrol agents this rate is also some 2.5 gram in per kg of seeds such as pseudomonas fluorescence at the rate 10 gram per kg of seed so these are the various seed things from which you can treat our seed now moving to manures manures and fertilizers we can use a farm ad manure compost for the size of field nitrogen 100 to 150 kg per hectare phosphorus with p2o5 50 to 60 kg per hectare potass 40 to 50 kg per hectare we can also use zinc sulfide Zinc sulfide 25 kg per hectare. <clears throat> then we can also do green manuring, crops based suiting green manuring are dhaicha, moong, urad, etc. What is green manuring? We grow crops in the field and during plowing we uh, don't, don't cut the crops we plow the crops uh, in the soil so these crops after mixing in the soil acts as green manure so this was the case of manures and fertilizers in what quantity we will use it now moving on weed management how will we manage weeds of the rice field paddy field we can do hand weeding two times in proper cultivation in proper uh, in one season we can do hand weeding two times we can also use weedicides such as or herbicides such as butaclor at the rate we can use butaclor sorry we can use uh, butaclor at the rate 2 to 3 liter per hectare and you will use in around 7700 to 800 liters of water or you can also use thiobencarp 
So these are the common VD sites or herbicides used. Now moving on to pest management. There are many pests in paddy field. So how will you uh, protect them? For stem borer, we will use profanos. For leaf folder, we will use cafet or for fenos. For stem rot, seeth rot, false knot. For all these three, you can use. Carvende gym, Carvende gym, and the rate you will use differs from differs on the pesticides from one gram per liter to two gram per liter. These are one gram for two gram per liter. We use Carvende gym at the rate one gram per liter. So it depends. So this is how will you manage some common pest of price or paddy field. Now there are pest biofortified rice such as such as black rice. That's it. Vitamin enriched. Full of antioxidants. We have also got golden rice that is rich in vitamin A. So these are the some common biofortified rice. You all, I think you all have heard about golden rice. Now moving on. What is the yield of rice? If managed properly, grown properly, the rice can yield 40 to 50 quintal per hectare. You can see the yield. This is the yield of rice. Now there is one kind of more rice that is aerobic rice. It was asked in previous years for portions. Aerobic rice. What is aerobic rice? In the here we grow in well drained soil. Not in we see sustained soil or uh, logged soil. Well drained soil and we do not puddle here. It is null puddled. It saves water up to 30 to 40 percent. So this is the main features of aerobic rice. Now moving on to the package of practice of aerobic rice. How will you grow that aerobic rice? In the previous years it was asked direct seeded aerobic rice and suppose it asks about some varieties how will you grow that you don't know how to write I have not learnt about this kind of similar variety how what is how it is what is its package of practice so what you will use the base which I have talked that can be that was the common for all the patties okay so you will use the base as it and now formulate your answers as bit suppose the variety is direct seeded what is the seed uh, how much seed we need to broadcast you can see there how, how what can you if that is organic we will not use so much of nitrogen and uh, in high amounts in less amounts and you will go to manures farmyard manures compost so we'll, you will keep the normal package of practice of paddy as base 
and now write your answers as per it. If you write that, it will be not wrong. It is right because it is the normal package of practice of rice. So now it is not direct seeded aerobic rice. The land should be well labeled, well labeled. Planting time. Ten to fifteen days before onset of monsoon. Here we need the very important machinery. That is happy seeder. That is that is direct seeded. We need to use happy seeder to drill the seeds. Seed treatment. We can use common salt. as all the viruses bacteria fungi on those will be killed by how common salt works the it absorbs all the uh, water or it dehydrates the bacteria common salt we have got carvendigium you can use carvendigium plus mancos here the Percentage of carbon is twenty five percent and sixty three percent mango chip. Seed rate six to eight kg per acre. It depends. It varies with kind of seed we are using. What is the spacing? No, sorry, seed rate is not this. Seed rate is around 60 kg per hectare, as we discussed earlier. It also varies as per what kind of variety we are giving, around 40 to 60 kg per hectare. Seed depth 2 to 3 cm. Using happy seeder, we will uh, plow our, we will deep, we will insert our seed 2 to 3 cm deep. Now what kind of nutrients we we need? Same as but there is no difference here. Same as but nitrogen around 100 kg per hectare in not in one one time in several divisions. We have used nitrogen in seven divisions. We have called phosphorus, potas, we can use compost farmyard manure etc green manure <coughs> we can also do here sorry green manuring we can also do here now moves to weed management always manage its seed at initial stages if we manage our weeds properly at initial stages it will give good yield Non puddled and well drained. We have discussed earlier. You can save water up to 35 or 30 to 40 percent. So, these are the major package of practices of aerobic rice. Now, moving on, I think I hope you all understood. What the package of practices of rice? Now moving down to package of practice of wheat. Wheat's package of practice. It is the second serial in our topic. So how well are we going to grow wheat? Major weed growing states are Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, etc.
what are the recommended varieties what are some varieties which can be grown at arjun hd arjun hd 2285 hd 2379 we have got c306 k68 lok 1 so these are the some common varieties of wheat there are many which are recommended now what climate what kind of climate does wheat needs it needs an ideal temperature of around 20 degrees celsius that is 22 to 26 i think and this is the normal climatic conditions for wheat seed rate for irrigated sowing conditions irrigated it requires around 100 kg per hectare for rain fed conditions it is around 125 kg per hectare and how will do seed treatment we will use t vd at the rate 4 g per kg we can use carboxin 1.25 g per kg so this is how will we we will treat our seeds now what would should be the normal spacing from for the crops for rain fed conditions around 30 cm it is crop spacing for irrigated cultivation it is 22.5 cm now moving to water management the soil moisture availability should be 50% if it decreases to it we will then use irrigation okay that is why we are highly dependent on winter rain so that the soil moisture doesn't decrease to 50% This is for normal variety and for dwar that is hybrid varieties HYB seeds it is around 60% to 100% soil moisture that is why these seeds need irrigation so that is why HYB was more suited to those areas which are good in irrigation now weed management we can use pendy methylene and methylene at the rate 1 kg per hectare this is this will use pre emergence pre emergence of we decide so that to control weeds now moving to pest and disease control pest and disease management for karnal bunt we will use propi conazol <coughs> at the rate 1 ml in 1 liter for powdery mildew we will reach carbendegium carbendegium at the rate 500 g per hectare for smart we will use chlorifos c h l o r i p y PHOS chlori phyphos sorry chlori pyrifyphos 
You will see the spelling. Chlori pi chlori pi 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 chlor pi 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 pos. I think C H L O R P Y I R I P H O S. At the rate zero point nine gram for a stem. Rest you will use mango jab. Two gram per liter. So these are the common. Paste and disjointment. There are many. There are more pastes and diseases, but I am taking the main important ones. Now, what will be the yield of it? For irrigated conditions, it will be forty to fifty quintal per hectare, and for rain-fed conditions, it will be around twenty to twenty-five quintal per hectare. <laughs> so this was the package of practice of peat. Hope you all. Get this. Now moving on to the package of practice of mage. Mage package of practice. So optimum season and climate for mage. grown in both kharif and rabi in different areas in kharif season it should be sown last week of june last june or first july not the date first week of july the season for the kharif season for rabi seasons for october It is time of sowing. Now moving on, some bit of some of its major varieties. We have got Ganga Safed, Ganga Five, Bijay Kisan, Sona, Bikram, etc. So these are the some common varieties of mage. No, we got a seed rate. It's twenty to twenty-five kg per hectare. Seed treatment we will use atrazine. That is a herbicide. At zero point two five kg per hectare. We can also use two for D at zero point seven five kg per hectare. That will be thirty to thirty five days after sowing. What is DS? Days after sowing. I hope you all understood it. So this is not seed treatment. How will you you treat seed after thirty thirty five days after sowing? <laughs> Sorry, this was my mistake. This was weed management. Weed management. Now moving on. Cropping pattern. We can do maize. We can use maize as intercrop with various crops at maize plus P and P, maize plus cow P, even maize plus wheat, maize plus potato plus wheat. So these are the major crops from for with which maize can be intercropped. Spacing should be sixty centimeter into twenty centimeter or sixty centimeter into fifty centimeter. Depends on varieties. We have discussed about weed management, applying atrazine and two for D fertilizer management. Two point five ton per hectare. This will be FYM 
फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स आफ्टर सोइंग फोर टू सॉरी फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स आफ्टर सोइंग नाइट्रोजन है अराउंड वन एट्टी टू वन ट्वेंटी के जी पर हेक्टेयर पी टू ओ फाइव अराउंड थर्टी टू सिक्सटी के जी पर हेक्टेयर के के टू ओ दैट इज पटास फोर्टी के जी पर हेक्टेयर अराउंड और लेसर देन दिस so when you will see nitrogen in 80 to 120 kg is potassium in around 60 kg plus uh, sorry phosphorus in 60 kg when 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 it comes to potassium why it is low because it tells soils are generally very rich in potassium it is the quality of indian soils they, they lack nitrogen and phosphorus but when it comes to potassium they are rich so this was the fertilizers More will use fertilizers. Now moving on to irrigation management or water management. Soil moisture should be sixty to hundred percent, especially in early vegetative period. That is why we, especially when we need irrigation in maize, we do it in early vegetative period. In early vegetative period, that is around thirty to forty days after sowing, and second important phase which requires some good soil moisture is tasseling. That is around forty-five to fifty days. After sowing, so this is how we we'll manage our water. We need to have good soil moisture around sixty to hundred percent in these two times. Now, disease and pest, borer. We'll do indo sulfan for soot fly. We will use imida chloride at the rate six mL per liter. So these are the two major crops, as well as pests and diseases. So pests. Now moving to yield, it is around forty to fifty quintal per hectare. Around forty to fifty quintal per year with good management practices. So this was the package of practice of mage. Now moving on to now moving on to package of practice of barley. it can grow from sandy loam to have big black cotton soils so it can nicely withstand some soil variations it is grown in the ph of soil should be 6.5 to 7.8. So in Kharif season, it is season or climate. In Kharif season, it requires uh, it, it should be sown in June to July. And in Rabi season, sorry, and in summer season, in Kharif and in summer season, it should be March to April. It some common varieties are T twenty seven, Navin, Mass forty eight, Krishnan, T sixty five, Sekhar, etc. So these are the some common varieties of barley.
Now moving on, what is the seed rate? Seed rate should be 15 to 20 kg per hectare for Kharif. and 25 to 30 kg hectare for summer and rabi seasons now the seed treatment we can use rhizobium and we can also use Arvinda Jim C A R B E N D A Z I M that is what Carvenda Jim plus theorem or theorem spacing should be twenty to twenty two point five centimeter depth at which seed should be sown is four to five centimeter. What is depth? Suppose this soil. So 4 to 5 seed and down the window push seed to 4 to 5 centimeter below the soil. So the spacing with density. Moving on to weed management. We can use 2,4-D with salt 80 percent salt as we have saw how salt kills all the bacteria weeds they make them to dehydrate and through after dehydration they die so this is the weed management now we want to fertilizer management fertilizer we can use 10 to 15 ton FIM per hectare FIM per hectare Nitrogen should be around 60 kg P2O5 should be around 30 kg per hectare This is also per hectare Irrigation management need to keep the soil moisture at 40 percent two irrigations in total season is enough for it and that should be uh, in stages like grain early till ring stage then we can also during grain filling stage grain filling and tilling stage so this is the irrigation management. Now moving to disease and pest. Disease and pest. For powdery mildew. We will use sulfur. Sulfur. Add the rate. 15 to 20 kg per hectare for leafy spot we can use dithan jet for a feed we can use methyl the methon the yield is around the yield is around 5 to 6 tons in Kharib season and in Ravi season it is around Ravi and summer season it is around 3 to 4 tons per hectare so this was the package of practice of barley now moving on 
to the package of practice of sorg so the optimum climate or optimum season for sorghum is mostly grown in kharif and rabi it can be grown from sandy loam to heavy black soil so it can be with it can also like barley it can also with a stand varieties of crops i'm going to major major varieties this soil major varieties of sorghum are kailash C one six four, R B D one, C H S fifteen R etc. So these are the some major varieties. Seed rate around hundred to hundred twenty five kg per hectare. Seed treatment we will use. जो स्पिरिलियम इनोकुलेंट ऑफ एजो स्पिरिलियम एंड वी कैन आल्सो यूज एज ऑफ फोर्स दिस आल्सो कंटेंस एजो स्पिरिलियम थ्री पैकेट्स ऑफ एजो फोर्स सॉरी सिक्स पैकेट्स ऑफ एजो फोर्स इन वन हेक्टेयर सो दिस इज हाउ विल यू ट्रीट सीड एजो फोर्स एज एड जेडो पी एच ओ एस नो मुविंग ऑन टू स्पेसिंग क्रॉप सोलू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट ऑप्टिम डेफ्थ ऑफ सोइंग शुड बी फोर टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर वीड मैनेजमेंट we can use 24d salt at 10% mm for fertilizer we can use 10 to 15 tons of per hectare fym 60 kg n p2 of f so do we 30 kg per hectare irrigation <coughs> management same like barley 40% soil moisture should be there to irrigation can help prime we can use irrigation early tilling stage boot stage grain filling stage when we will first of all see soil moisture if the soil moisture is growing going down we will use irrigation Now moving on to disease and pest. Again, we have got powdery, powdery mildew. We will use sulfur, fifteen to twenty kg per hectare for leaf spot. We will use diethen jad. This is the name of the pesticide, or uh, sorry, it is name of the medicine for aphid. We will use methyl dimethon. The yield of sorghum is around five to six tons. Per hectare and in Kharif region and in Rabi and summer region it is around three to four tons per hectare. And this is the major package of practice of sorghum. And there was one question asked in the previous years is that what are the major 
एडवांटेजेज एंड डिसएडवांटेजेज ऑफ स्वर्गम सो वे विल लुक इन टू इट स्वर्गम प्रोडक्शन मेजर एडवांटेजेज एंड डिसएडवांटेजेज स्वर्गम एडवांटेज ऑफ स्वर्गम कल्टिवेशन ऑफ स्वर्गम इट इज ड्राउट टॉलरेंट एज वी नो लेस देन फोर्टी अराउंड फोर्टी परसेंट सॉइल मोस्टर ओनली और लेस देन इवन इन लेसर कंडीशन इट विल ग्रो इट इज हाईली न्यूट्रीशियस कंटेंस लॉट ऑफ फाइबर्स grown in regions with less rainfall regions I mean grown in less than for less input required less fertilizers less pesticides low irrigation as compared to other crops it can be used as fodder crop less investment is needed as there is less input so less investment it improves soil quality and as i have said it is rich in fiber and antioxidants these are the major benefits or advantages of sorghum now moving to its limitations What are the limitations in sorghum crop cultivation? Lack of HYB, low and inferior grain quality, problems of pest. There is low agricultural technology. As sorghum is grown in backward areas where there is less uh, irrigation, less input. So when there is farmers do not have enough input to use irrigation and fertilizer, how will they use technology? So this in hand this leads to low input. It is all mostly grown in poor soils. Although sorghum when grown in good in sandy loam soils, it can enhance its Production two to three times, but due to as it is only preferred as a poor soil crop, the low H yield and less income to farmers as less yield as compared to conventional crops. So these are the major limitations of sorghum. So we have discussed the package of practices of five major cereals that is rice, wheat, barley, sorghum, and maize. so i don't think these are the major five cereals which could be asked so in the next lecture we will move into pulses the package of practices of pulses so that's all for today for any queries comment like it press the like button if you like it subscribe and share that's all for today thank you